So, uh, I like wearing Spider-Man clothes. If you looked in my closet, you would see so many Spidey hoodies and outfits that I'm honestly ashamed to admit that I would struggle to look in my closet and find clothes that actually don't resemble Spider-Man in any way. But naturally, that just means I'm familiar enough with all kinds of Spider-Man clothing and merchandise enough to where I can make a YouTube video about it. So here we are. So there's like two types of Spider-Man shirts, and only one of them is really interesting to me. There's shirts with Spider-Man on them, and then there's shirts that try to make you look like Spider-Man. Now, I don't know about you, but if I want to fucking wear a Spider-Man shirt, okay, I want to be Spider-Man. I don't want to be some pussy ass with Spider-Man on his shirt if I could just be Spider-Man instead. What do I have to lose? My social credibility? Who the fuck cares if people think I'm weird because I'm wearing a shirt? Fuck you, bitch! I'm Spider-Man! Okay, maybe not this shirt. I hate Spider-Man shirts that want to make you look like Spider-Man, but they also don't fully commit to the idea. Like, this is just a shirt with Spider-Man's chest piece ripped off and slapped on. That's not good enough. If you want a t-shirt that's so much better than shit like this, there's like a million better options. If you want, you can just wear the shirt with the spider logo on it. These are definitely more of a low effort choice, and on the bright side, less people will look at you funny for wearing these in public, because you don't look like a red and blue clown. With these, it really just depends on what kind of spider logo you like. I don't like this particular spider logo because I think it's too long and oddly shaped. I, I'm just, I, I know some people might like it. I'm just, I, I don't, I didn't write out why I don't like it in the script, so I can't go in depth. I just don't like it. I think logos like these work on places like the Tasm suit because it has the longer midsection to go along with it. But when you sort of just put it out naked on the suit like this, it sort of looks weird. It's long and awkward. And the Tasm logo looks way cooler anyway, so you might as well have just used that one. Get that bootleg shit out of here. I think logos that fit a more squarish, even shape on the chest usually work well whenever put on a shirt. Do you want to look like even more of a man-child in front of women who might have possibly been into you if you weren't wearing a Spider-Man shirt? Spider-Man cosplay hoodies are the next logical step in dressing like a loser. You'd be surprised as to how easily accessible getting your hands on a wide selection of Spider-Man cosplay hoodies are. I own a couple of cool ones myself, and I'll do a little, a little fashion haul and show you. I have a lot more of those shirts than I thought I would. That's not even the last of it either. I have so much more Spider-Man hoodies that aren't just limited to screen printed shit either. Hoodies are extremely easy to modify into Spider-Man shit. And all you have to do is get your hands on some puff paint or a thick Sharpie and you can really turn anything into a Spider-Man hoodie. Here is my favorite hoodie of all time. It's just your average red hoodie but it's got this faded spray paint-esque design with a spider logo on it. Or what about my black suit turtleneck hoodie? I only wear this one every now and then, but I like it a lot. But fine, fine. What if you're too lazy to make your own Spider-Man hoodies? Then I'll take you to the holy grail of Spider-Man hoodies. This isn't your average printed shit or anything you could replicate at home. These hoodies have embroidered spider logos, hoods that zip up into Spider-Man masks, these are the good shit. And they cost it about $50 a pop in their heyday. But anyway, here is the classic Spider-Man hoodie. This jacket is almost entirely based off of Todd McFarlane's artwork, which makes it even better. It's pretty much spot on, aside from the front spider missing the rounder legs, but it still looks amazing. It's got completely accurate Todd McFarlane lenses, and even if you look on the back, you'll see an improved version of the back logo that I shit on in my Funko Pop video, which you should go watch. I got this hoodie a couple of years ago, and I still throw it on every now and then. It's a nice hoodie, and I don't look too silly wearing it with the mask on. It's okay, I guess. They also did a TASM 2 version with detailed printed fabric. And this one sucks. These logos are all incorrectly sized compared to the actual TASM suit, and the lenses on the hood look way more ridiculous than they did on the last one. I've seen this hoodie in public without the lame mask hood. I think it looks good casually, 
But then again, you know, I'm, I'm here to be hypercritical about the design. So, uh, casually, I think it's a cool hoodie, but it does not hold up under scrutiny. But, you know, now that we've gotten to talking about how much of a loser dressing up like Spider-Man will make you through my quick cutaways and jokes, you want to know who can dress up as Spider-Man without being judged? Children! If you thought the Spider-Man hoodies before were insane, these kids' clothing items are even crazier! Like, bro, look at this kid! He is dripped the fuck out! Not only does he have a Spider-Man hoodie, but the pants on top of that! And bitch, you better fucking believe it comes in black too! Damn! This might be the coolest kid I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Would I wear this if I could get this in my size? Don't even fucking ask. Totally, I'd get the fucking shades and everything. Alright, but let's talk about something even cooler that you can wear as an adult. This is Super X. This is one of the coolest clothing companies that I have ever seen in my whole life. And if you could fucking assess my entire fashion sense, and put it into a brand. This is that fucking brand. You will not believe how much I want one of these goddamn Spider-Man hoodies. I want the whole outfit. I don't want just the hoodie. I want the whole outfit. Look at it. It's like a combination between the color block, fashion trend, and superheroes. I'm literally losing my fucking mind. Super X, if you're watching this, please fucking sponsor me. I will fucking wear every new hoodie you make in my videos. I want one of these so bad. I don't care if, if people who fucking know my critiques are gonna come to me and be like, Oh Kai, but I thought you hate over-designed shit. Look at it, it's got lines and paneling all over it. It's over-designed, it's over-designed. I don't care. I don't care. If I put this on, go out in public, no one may talk to me, and I may be a loser. But I know that I look fucking awesome doing it. This shit is, I'm losing my mind. I don't even have any critical assessment to give you. This is no longer a video where I'm basing words off of a script that I've pre-written. I'm flying off the handle just to fucking tell you that this goddamn shit is fucking amazing. I'm done with this video. Hello. We're here in the title card, or the end card, that rather. Um, if you want, I live stream every Friday, where you can check out my streams. I'll be working on my Spider-Man show, which I'm still working on. And um, if you become a member to the channel, you can get all access to previous live streams that I've done that are stored away for members only, and you can have hours, I'm literally not kidding, hours and hours and hours of P PSM content. So if you want more of me, become a member of the channel, literally any tier, and you can get access to all my VODs for your membership subscription and if you only want one you can cancel at any time whatever thank you all so much for watching uh and if you want to hang out with me anytime soon come see me on friday where i'll be live streaming i usually start at about 8 a.m anytime after that on a friday 8 a.m est